prior to installing the front uh, skid plate, or the back plate as it's sometimes known, uh, we're first going to install the reinforcing bracket, aluminum brackets, part number 14. It goes right there. And then the hardware we're going to use to install it, we've got uh, part number 27, uh, which is an M6 bolt. Uh, again, with the, uh, with the flared head. And then uh, to go along with that, we've got the, uh, the conical washer, uh, part number 33. A regular, um, part number 30, regular M6 washer, and part 1, part number 35, which is the M6 nylock nut. So we'll just put the conical washer on the bolt, and then that goes through from the underside, and then through the hole in the bracket. We drop the washer on, and then the nylock nut, like so, and then we'll uh, use our 10 millimeter socket, along with our Allen key, tighten that up. Okay, so we got that installed. And the next step will be to install the front bash plate. So now that we have the uh, front uh, skid plate uh, mounted with the aluminum reinforcing bracket, it's time to install it on the machine. Uh, there's three sets of hardware we're going to use to do that. Um, at the bottom end, we're going to use uh, part number 19, that's the M6 by 16 millimeter bolt, along with uh, part number 30, the M6 flat washer, and part number 32 which is the dish washer and there's uh, two each of those in the middle we're going to use uh, part number 27 which is the m6 by 30 millimeter bolt with the uh, flared head part number 33 which is the m6 conical washer part number 30 which is the uh, m6 flat washer and part number 35 which is the m6 nylock washer two sets each of those and then up at the front, we're going to use part number uh, 28, which is an M8 by 60 millimeter uh, washer with a flared head, along with uh, part number 34, which is the M8 uh, conical washer, and then uh, part number 36, which is the uh, M8 uh, nylock nut. Uh, for tools, we're going to need a 13 millimeter uh, open-ended wrench. We're going to need uh, both 4 and 5 millimeter hex keys or Allen keys. And we're also going to need a 10 millimeter um, socket. First thing we need to do, uh, first I'll show you the uh, where those mounting locations, where that, where the, that hardware goes. Uh, the lower set goes here into these uh, two tabs. That joins the uh, front skid plate to the center skid plate. Then the second set, the M6 with the conical washers, you can use either this set of holes or this set of holes. I uh, chose to use this set because I think it's better spaced, but more importantly, it's a lot easier to get in behind there to get the nylock nuts on. And then the uh, M8 bolts, the larger bolts, they go up here uh, through the uh, factory bash plate, which remains in place. So the first thing we have to do is take out the factory bushings and replace them with the slightly wider iron Baltic bushings and uh, we'll do that first then we'll mount the skid plate. So to get the factory bushings out I used a small uh, flat bladed screwdriver and just uh, levered them out just sort of get in there and pop them out. They're loose here because I've actually actually loosened them up earlier but uh, yeah, you just need to get the screwdriver in there and work it behind them and, and pop them out. And then in their place, we're going to put the uh, iron Baltic bushings. This is the uh, iron Baltic replacement bushing. You can see it's quite a bit uh, wider. And you can see the little lip there. Uh, that's the part that's going to go into the, uh, the factory uh, bash plate. So this is the hole. And we're just going to take it with that lip. Uh, facing inwards I'll just insert it like that and push it into the hole it's not a super tight fit but it should uh, stay in there by itself 
and then we'll do the other side as well and then we'll uh, install the uh, skid plate so we'll put the skid plate up in place like so and the first ones to go on are the ones with the, the bolts with the dish washers and we'll just get those started leave everything just sort of finger tight until we get everything installed and lined up and then we can come back and tighten everything up so uh, these two installed first. Like so. And then we'll uh, put our bolts into our conical washers. Like I mentioned here are the two sets of holes. I'm going to use this set here. So uh, get the bolts one at a time I expect the bolt in place and then we have to go behind with the, uh, the washer and the, um, and the nylock nut and we'll just uh, put those on finger tight so we got those ones loosely in place and now we want to take our uh, our winch cable from which we originally earlier moved removed the hook and pass it through the, uh, the winch cable opening in the, in the skid plate. Pull that through there. And now we're going to put the big M8 bolts with the nylock nuts through the uh, skid plate and the aluminum bracket and then through the bushings and the factory uh, uh, bash plate and, and the frame. And, it needs to, you need to wiggle them through, get them lined up through, uh, through all of those pieces. And it just takes a little bit of fiddling around. And get that pressed in there. And then, uh, get the nut started on the, on the back again, just finger tight. Tighten all of those up, and then uh, once we've got those tight, uh, we'll reinstall the uh, factory uh, fair lead with the original hardware, and uh, that'll be the front all buttoned up. So I'll tighten those up, and then we'll uh, get back to you with the next stage. <laughs>